Jupiter has went direct, okay? Jupiter was in retrograde all throughout the summer and part of the first half of the fall, okay? And as you guys know, it is Sagittarius season. So whenever we are looking at a particular sign, we also want to look at the planet that rules that sign by transit, right? So currently the sun is in Sag, Mercury is in Sagittarius, and Mars will be there in Sag December the 13th. And so we're gonna wanna look at where Jupiter is at, right? Cause Jupiter is the planet that rules Sagittarius, okay? Jupiter is the planet that rules Sagittarius. So when I say Jupiter was in retrograde, that means by our perception on the earth, it appeared as if the planet was going backwards, okay? So that means all Jupiter things are being reevaluated, being reobserved. Um, certain things maybe being put on hold, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure all the details and everything like that is going like how it needs to be. Everything is like on the table, you know what I'm saying? Usually when things are in retrograde, it's like giving us time to refocus, time for us to go over things, to make sure that all of our ducks are in a row, etc. Okay, so that's what I mean by Jupiter was in retrograde majority of the summer and the first half of fall okay now jupiter is going direct so that means it's time for us to you know look at new opportunities look at new ways in which we can make money um ways in which we can network ways in which we can actually go after our dreams going after things that we are wanting to solidify right things that we are wanting to live in uh, truth with as far as like us living our truth, us expressing our truth, okay? So that's what I mean by Jupiter going direct, but it's in the sign of Aquarius. So Jupiter went retrograde, okay? So before it went retrograde, it actually moved into Pisces, okay? It had entered the 12th house, okay? Collectively speaking. But when it went retrograde, it started to go backwards in degrees. So it was in Pisces for about a month or two, and then it went back into Aquarius, going backwards, right? Because like I said, the planet is going backwards, okay? So it went back into Aquarius, and so now it's not in retrograde anymore. It's moving forward, okay? The planet is moving forward. So currently it's in Aquarius. Aquarius rules over 11 counts. This is the collective universal will, okay? And now it's moving back into Pisces, going forward, okay? Jupiter, like I said, is in Aquarius. It's going to be in the sign of the of in the sign of Aquarius from now until December 29th, okay? And then it's going to be in Pisces from this December the 29th, and it's going to be there for an entire year, okay? And if you guys are not familiar, there is a concept of astrology called ancient astrology, okay? And so the ancient planet ruler over Pisces is Jupiter. So Jupiter is going to enjoy being in Pisces, okay? Even though it rules Sagittarius, it also rules Pisces by ancient astrology, okay? Aquarius is the air sign. It's not a water sign, okay? Um, Aquarius is the ruler over the 11th house. So it deals with our dreams. Our goals, our aspirations, our networking, our community at large, our socializing, how we socialize, how we go about connecting with other people, and also do with social media, okay? And so with Jupiter being in Aquarius, it is asking for us, the current transit right now, okay, until December 29th, it's asking for us to believe in our dreams, in our aspirations. Are you doing the necessary work that you need to do? Because Saturn is also an Aquarius, okay? So are you doing the necessary work that you need to do in regards to going after your dreams, okay? Moving past certain things that you have been comfortable in, okay? That's the square to Taurus in the second house, okay? Getting out of your comfort zone, okay? Getting out of your laziness, getting out of your procrastination, okay? To go after your dreams and your goals. Are you networking with the right people, okay? Do you have the right people in your circle? Do you have the right team? Have you found your tribe, okay? If you haven't done those things, Jupiter is asking for you to find your truths in that, like to find your tribe, to find your community, okay? 
Are you going after the dreams and goals that are in tune with your spirit right now? Or are you chasing old goals that really are not in alignment with you anymore? Okay. Oh, yeah. And you just having faith. You know what I'm saying? Jupiter deals with faith. You know what I'm saying? Jupiter is the ancient god that deals with faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, the godlike energy, right? So, like, you believing in a higher source. You believing in a higher power within yourself do you believe within yourself do you believe in others okay with it being aquarius that's community so have you lost faith in the world you know what i'm saying those are those are questions okay jupiter is asking for you have you lost faith in yourself have you lost faith in the world have you lost faith in your community right and so it's like asking for you to find faith again okay because as you know when you have faith when you don't worry things fall into alignment okay so that's what's going on collectively you want to see where you have Aquarius at in your chart to see how that particular Jupiter transit is playing out for you specifically. Pisces is the ruler over the 12th house, okay? And it deals with our unconscious mind, okay? It deals with our self-undoing habits. It deals with institutions. It also can deal, deal with fear on an unconscious level, okay? Things that have happened in our lives, like on a traumatic level that we have wedged so far back to where we don't remember them on a conscious everyday level okay it also deals with uh fame um by way of neptune okay it also deals with uh spirituality as far as like any realms of spiritual anything whether it be spiritual things of this world or beyond this jupiter is here that is going to be the theme for everyone okay and because Jupiter is a planet that deals with expansion, it's going to expand those things, okay? Now, remember I told you undoing habits, so that means addictions, okay? Addictions, drug overdose, okay? Jupiter deals with this, okay? Illusions, okay? Pisces in the 12th house also deals with illusions, whether it be physical illusions, emotional illusions, mental illusions, and spiritual illusions. So be aware of people operating in some type of trickery okay some type of finesse as far as spiritual teachers gurus whatever you know proclaiming to be xyz okay um and be aware of accidents okay surrounding large bodies of water because pisces rules over large bodies of water like the sea the ocean right so be aware especially when the moon is transiting pisces okay be aware of just being in water period okay because dealing with illusions and not being able to see particular details by way of opposition to virgo details mercury right so you want to be aware okay you may see some instances of drowning okay people being lost at sea okay people you know going missing at sea and not even coming back okay so you want to be careful of that when jupiter enters pisces okay it is going to be restoring our faith in humanity. Pisces also deals with humanity on a global scale, okay? So that's something to look forward to, okay? You having the faith that you can overcome your demons, your fears, your habits, right? Your self-undoing habits, okay? Your particular addictions that you may have. And it's not necessarily drug addictions. It can be sex addictions, social media addictions um you know uh toxic bonds like you know you having such a, a need or addiction to connect with people like who are toxic for you and you get addicted to that okay you over sacrificing yourself okay this is all pisces things okay so jupiter here is going to give us the faith to really overcome those things okay and so you having the spiritual protection okay as well you being able to conquer your fears, your self-undoing habits, like I told you, and also you having the spiritual confidence in your spiritual abilities, okay? That's going to be a major thing. You're going to see a lot of people having the confidence to really, you know, put themselves out there um, as far as sharing their particular spiritual talents, their, their particular skill sets that they have been cultivating for such a long time. So you're going to also see a big um, increase in regards to that as well. And because Jupiter deals with opportunities and wealth, this is also going to be promoting for all the spiritual folks out there to use their spiritual creations, right? Their spiritual talents to benefit the world, to benefit others, right? To see the need 
amongst their own community or within the community at large to see what the spiritual needs are and them being able to offer those services, okay? So we're going to see a lot of people like literally blowing up in regards to their spiritual talents and creations, okay? You'll also be pushed, you'll also be pushed to create more from that spiritual space, right? So things that you have been wanting to create from spirit, you wanting to create particular, you know, things just dealing in any type of expression of yourself, any type of art, movies, screenwritings, okay? Anything dealing with anything in those endeavors will definitely be taken off for a lot of people as well. How can you heal yourself, okay? What does that look like? Have you already healed yourself, okay? And then you providing that healing for others, okay? Because it's about other people. It's not just about you, right? Necessary ego deaths, okay? Pisces deals with ego death, okay? So ways in which you really need to transform and to kill your ego, okay? That's definitely going to be going on. Whether you're doing it for yourself or someone else is doing it for you. Whether you like it or not, okay? So be aware of that. Um... And also, old and new truths will be coming out, okay? So when Jupiter hits Pisces, best believe it's going to be new discoveries from, from the oceans, okay? Coming up as far as, like, ancient civilizations coming up, ancient cities, okay? Um, particular uh, cultural uh, artifacts and stuff like that that have been missing or, or was stolen, being returned back, and we're kind of already seeing that already. And then two, you know, particular so-called endangered spe species of animals coming back to the surface as well. Okay, so we're going to be seeing more of that. Um, and also, too, other spiritual um, healing modalities that other cultures used to use in ancient times will be coming back. Okay, different ways in which other cultures um, from the past used different, you know, Physical things or spiritual things for healing will start to be resurfaced and will start to be implemented into the community to be used. It's going to be a lot of normalcy around those particular things, okay? Um, and I think that's it. So, Jupiter is already working. It's magic because it's a long-ass video, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Um... Please continue to follow my channel. Remember, hit the notification bell. I feel like, I guess we would really do that. Notification bell to get notifications for my videos. Um, I'm trying to think. Believe in yourself. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on the world. Okay, I know the world is an effed up place. It's crazy ass people in the world. People doing crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But don't get, it's still good people in the world. It's still people who are wanting to connect with you, wanting to help push you, encourage you in the right direction. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, if you are on any other social media outlets, I think I have my Facebook um, icon and my IG icon on my profile. So feel free to follow me there. I post astrology content on the daily. And I'm always posting particular transit receipts on the daily. So feel free to check me out there. Um, if you know anybody who needs some encouragement, anybody who needs something to look forward to, please feel free to send them this video. Jupiter is really going to be really boosting us forward where we need to go, okay? And doing the necessary work to really get out here and to conquer our fears, okay? As we know, it is a spiritual warfare, but it's a spiritual warfare within us right not just outside of outside of ourselves in the world but it's a spiritual warfare within us so Jupiter is really gonna come and be like I need for you to get on your throne I need for you to really conquer some shit so yeah and I also offer astrology services which I'm currently closed for the rest of the 2021 year, baby, because honey, I've been working my ass off, honey, and I'm tired, child, so I need a break. But I will be opening my astrology uh, services to the public back, I won't say back, but next year, probably like in February or March. So, you know, stay tuned to that. I do natal chart readings. I do transit readings like this on an individualized level. And I also do Saturn return readings, okay? And feel free to check out my website, www llpnatural.com you can see all of my reviews there okay 
That's it. Bye. So I'm going to go down to history for an ass kicker. I never let the person that's knocking me down give me food, religion, or anything. I'm not listening to nothing you're saying because it's only to control me. I'm aware of that. I think we all are, but everybody's pussy. That's the problem. Fear is implemented. It's a program to stop us from making our dreams come true. And most of the things we're scared of never happen until you think about it so much that you manifest it. You know, when you're sitting around thinking about shit you're scared of, that means you're not doing nothing about it. Because when you're doing shit, you ain't thinking about the past. You're thinking about what's in front of you. You know, so if you got time to reflect, that's too much time. You should be working. Too much time reflecting is sucker shit to me. That's licking your wounds. I'd rather fight. And that's what I want to be famous for, fighting. I don't want to be famous for rapping. I don't want to be famous for acting. I want to be famous for kicking some fucking ass to those that deserve it and helping people that I love. And that's what I'm going to go down in history for, an ass kicker.